How's it going guys? Chris back here again with more Skyrim Special Edition. We are on part 7. Right where we left off, we did a little fishing. We'll do one more. No reason not to. So I'd like to catch some of the rare fish instead of just going to all of the places, but I also don't want to bog down a brook bass. Okay. I don't want to bog down the let's play with um, a bunch of uh, carp. Not carp. Uh, I don't want to bog the let's play down with uh, a bunch of filler content, basically. Like, I'd rather the, the videos be fighting and... Uh, questing and that kind of thing. And I have an Imperial Sword of Mud. Which is still not as good as my uh, Skyforge Steel Sword. Which we still don't use because we're using bound weapons. If there's, I don't know if the uh, the bound weapon system is working as intended because our bound weapon is very powerful uh, for this stage in the game. I'm gonna find this standing stone, and I think I'm gonna activate it just so that it gets it out of the way for activation. What does the apprentice stone do? I have a feeling that's. Oh, it gives me a weakness to magic, but our magic regenerates faster, right? Yeah, that's alright. So we're heading off to a tomb. I might explore this fort, because I generally don't explore forts. Uh, we'll wait here to get Inigo back with us. And I guess our skeleton who is um, a vital member of the team, and I remember that he exists often. Snowhawk. I've never been to Fort Snowhawk. I probably have. Are you calling my skeleton stupid or your skeleton? changes the level of enemies to make them static in certain locations. Whoa, that was a lot of damage from somewhere. Uh, was that from the mages? Or is there actually something scary here? I'm a little worried there might actually be something scary. Or that magic might just be OP. Especially when you're weak to it. I wonder if... Yeah, because I'm not playing on keyboard, I can't utilize the extra slots. So if I was playing on keyboard, I'd have uh, eight quick slots, which is what we saw in Morrowind. Uh, and that basically means I have access to anything I want at the touch of a button. Uh, Skyrim's console system is a little more... Um, limiting, so you only have access to two quick keys with a single button push. But you also have some of the benefits of working with controller. Hmm. Well, we're working. 
on that in a bit. Into Fort Snowhawk again. There is a master conjurer necromancer around here somewhere. Ooh, look at that. A rune. Let's show these mages that we can rune better than they can. I do worry that we've chosen uh, that to do all the quests we um well to fill out the museum we've chosen to get the apprentice stone with its weakness to magic and then we didn't really come up with a contingency plan to actually fix that. Very powerful. Watch me dodge, watch me weave. And I just casually back out of the room. So, one of the reasons that I do like Skyrim is that I feel like its combat is pretty decent. Like, for what it is. I hope Inigo and his group are having better luck. Because I assume he's also assaulted the fort. If not, this is awkward. There you go. Oh, there's a button on the side. door. Black mage robes, black mage robes. Somebody was around here. Oh, we were. Oh, you were. In a go. Scaring me. Mud Crab, Chitin, Lord of Skyrim, Wolf Cream, Volume 3. Am I looking for Wolf Cream, Volume 3? Am I looking for Baron Zaya, Volume 3? Uh, Baron Zaya, Volume 3. Okay. Hmm. So you guys came from this direction, huh? Order's key. Well, that's a good pickup. Or a zombie. We can do a little bit more magic. Hey! Hey, he wasn't as strong as I thought he'd be. We saw this door earlier. Also, a hammer here is just an iron hammer. Okay. Circular of purification. Okay, that could be good. An ancient Nord sword. Mm, not really interested in the Nords. Their weapons and culture are just a little too savage for our taste. <sighs> this is part seven, isn't it? Wow. So 
So our skelly bro is about to disappear. He's got about a fourth of his life left, a little over. So we can't rely on him for too much longer. How much progress have we made towards the mountain we're looking for? We're actually on the mountain we're looking for. Well, that's good. So generally, over the course of Skyrim's existence, because Skyrim's been along for a while, long time, I've played a lot of characters with Skyrim, even though I haven't played it recently. And uh, one of my habits in this game is getting lost. Uh, not getting lost, but running out of things to do. Because I'll create a new character with the intention of performing certain actions. And after I perform those actions, I'm pretty much lost as to where I'm going to take the character from there. Um, and that kind of... Uh, I kind of don't want that to happen during the Let's Play, which is why I kind of set a bigger goal. A, archaeology. Dude, look at my hat. My hat is amazing. One keystone. What's a keystone? My alchemy is f uh, archery is f uh, Archaeology is four. Checklist. Okay, well, I don't really want to uh, to mess with that in case I mess something up. We are making a lot of manual saves, so we are we do have a degree of safety. Hey, it's our first claw. Well. Our first claw that we get to keep. Oh god, Indigo. <sighs> yeah, this door's locked. Should be locked. This door should be locked. But I guess it doesn't need to be. Anything good? We should probably collect alchemy ingredients, and bone meal would be an easy one to get a lot of. But I just don't feel like carrying it around. It's also used for smithing. Ouch. We gotta be careful just in case. There's the chest. We had a 2% chance to open that. Aleski's key is going to be the bungee gum card. Uh, uh, bungee gum ability of this, uh, this playthrough. I say I recently finished watching uh, Hunter Hunter, and uh, it's just so satisfying to see Bungie Gum explained for the a thousandth time. You think you can beat me? Not while I have my in it go. Petty sold him there. Ouch. We took a pretty big hit there in a go. If I weren't invincible, we'd be in trouble. I'm not really invincible, but with Inigo at my back, it kind of feels like we are sometimes.
a brainless existence is at an end. That is true, Inigo. They cannot defeat us. Oh, spider time. If you pull the lever there, these two things drop down. And uh, you can avoid fighting one of the spiders. But then you have to drop down to the hole to progress, so you have to fight it anyways. I guess you can't avoid fighting a spider. I thought you could, though. Got me a skiver soul. You're gonna need some healing. Poor Draugr. Just couldn't figure out what was going wrong. So there is a tripwire here that you want to unlock so that it doesn't trigger and cause spikes to happen. So it's all the way down and then just like a quarter up. A little more. A little more. Too far, okay. There we go. Good work, Inigo. Get some Nord arrows. This turns on and off those uh, swinging blades right there. The trap would have also turned them on, but we prevented that from being a problem. There's no reason to explore that way. Hey, let's do some enchanting leveling. Uh, circle of purification. Don't need that. Uh, we'll keep one enchanted ring. Because I think I just need to turn that in. Bracers, mud, shards. Wielding can go. Lunar axe can go. That can go, that can go, and that can go. You know, Trenny, I, I know you're not the brightest of individuals, but you didn't have to disenchant the one you were wearing. Uh, I would have gone with a different one, but... Yeah, the loot isn't leveled, so... Hmm. So this door is sealed, you have to go and find guy's corpse to unseal it. Oh god. Yeah, I don't think you should be seeing Death Lords at level 11. Honestly. Oh god. I just wrecked poor Inigo. Ouch. Did I kill the Death Lord, or did you kill the Death Lord? Honed Hero Blade. That's me. Dude, my one-handed weapon does 20 damage? 21 damage from this down sword. That's crazy. Please don't fire. Hmm. Occasionally those alcoves have things in them. Circle of protection. We're going down, Inigo. We're going down. So I could have Inigo unlock this. But I also don't want to abuse his, uh, his friendship for a basic skeleton key. But I also know... 
that he can unlock some things. I guess he can unlock an expert lock. Okay. So I have one chance. So close. Hey, Inigo. Buddy, buddy, there's no, there's no enemy. Dude, we can't do this right now. Come on. Talk to me, Inigo. Talk to me. I need to trade something. Just need your lockpicks. I will buy you more in a go. I swear. Oh God. Magicka! This is not a good investment of resources. Although the locksmith that made the last one also made this one, so... There we go. Card of Builders. Gold. Black Ice. Unresistible Frost Damage. Okay. I'll take it because I can disenchant it. Alright, Inigo, I lied. There actually is an enemy down here. Bro. I guess it's me and these guys. Gosh. Healing might not come fast enough. We did it. We're amazing. Just a candle and a little uncouth. Come along, Skelly Bro. Anything else back here? Nope, okay. What do you think, Inigo? Man, the first data artifact I find is going in Inigo's hands. He's earned it. Well, the first useful uh, data card effect. Skilled armor of imminent health. What? Okay. I'll take it. Oh, seamless strongbox. Ring of surroundings. What if I sneak by 20 points? Yeah, I'll take it. Uh, King of Lost Earth. It's a bit damaged. I hope I hope they weren't looking for like a pristine copy. Because if they were looking for a pristine copy, we might be a bit in a uh, struggle bus town, you know? It's actually nice to have because eventually we're going to need, um, need to be a sneaky person. And I don't know how soon that'll be. But if we go back to the start, that guy will unlock... Uh, this ghost man, he will unlock this sealed passage. 
Let me see what our uh, our uh, code to get into this place is. I'm actually building up quite the deck of cards. Vulcan stones restores magic completely. I forgot about these. These could be useful. But we're looking for the ruby claw. Yeah, ruby dragon claw. So it is a wolf of burden wolf. Okay. We gotta jump all the way around. Wolf, bird, wolf, right? So it's just two rotations on the bottom. And then we back up. So that if there are any repercussions, we don't feel them. So this is my team. And our team also has the guy. So when we get in here, we want to wait, just so that our boys are teleported inside the room. Looks like we're up against four scourges. I guess flame room would probably be decent around here. God, you're mine. Uh, healing hands, will that work on you? No, no, it won't. I need necromantic healing hands. <sighs> so you can kill them while they're sleeping, and that way they pose less risk to you. That won't work on the ones up there, though, because they're too powerful. I got you in a go. Even though you do massive damage. We have enemies there. Man, I'm good at explosions. You got this, Inigo. Look at me. I'm doing damage. Oh, God. To whom, though? To whom am I dealing damage? That's the real question. Oh, you're a Warhammer, bro. I can see why we were focusing you down first. Sorry, Inigo, I'm just kind of dangerous. Let's get you back up. Oh my god. Nice sword you have. Be a shame if some someone took it off of you. Burn, corpse burn. Right, I actually have a better destruction spell now, don't I? Ebony sword, ice blade of monarch. Oh. Well, maybe the patch isn't working well. F 
freeze it. All can feel its blade. Okay. Yo, Inigo. So the the ebony sword was the loot from uh, more loot. I need to trade some things. How much damage? Twenty-seven damage. Wow. But that's not your weapon of choice anymore. You are the wielder of the ice blade of Mana. Are you a one-handed weapon? I thought you were a two-handed weapon. You know what, Indigo? It's kind of cool. I might be keeping it. Walls. Ring of the Black. Ranks an enchanted armor piece at random intervals. Okay. Here, this is yours. I don't need it. I'm also going to take the ebony sword off of you. Uh, because we probably shouldn't be playing with these. They're kind of valuable in and now I have two of them. Gold. I'll take it. So I guess Solitude's kind of like our hometown at the moment. Yeah, you look badass. Let's go fight something to go. I will find us something to fight. But it's got to be something strong enough to take a hit. Because then we won't see the effect of the Ice Blade of Monarch King. Inigo, I'm in danger. I'm in danger, Inigo. Let's go get that disease. Well, where's my cure disease potion? Did I not pick one up? Mm, that's annoying. This is a crabber right there. I think the cave is actually up there. Yeah, the cave's up there, so this cave is probably closer. It's because you have to climb up the mountain to actually get to that cave, which is doable. Don't get me wrong. It's doable. I wonder if there's a fishing spot near here. Probably, right? Yeah, right there. weird how much crab there is in Whiterun Hold, considering Whiterun Hold doesn't border the ocean. These are just like inland crabs. How strange is that? I think this is a bandit cave if I remember correctly, but it might be something worse. I think it starts with the letter O. Uh, where'd you go? There you go. Yeah, or theme. Bandit cave or theme. You got this, Inigo.
It's doing something to him, huh? This bandit chief spawned with an elven dagger. No, or seems bandits, what? Well, we have to check this out now. Let's learn some necromancy while we're at it. Journal. Orphaned bandits. Damn those giants. One of the mammoths would feed us for a month, but they herd them around like prize cattle. Did this area dry? Unless we kill one soon, we'll have to camp elsewhere. There's literally a dude selling crabs. Um... 20 feet from the entrance to your tomb. To your cave. Like, you are fine, buddy. Just suck it up, buy some crap. Hey, is that a spriggit? And some leather boots? And an apprentice lock chest. Inigo, I will not be able to return the lock picks that I borrowed off of you. I'm gonna have to buy you some more, because... I break them like nobody's business. Hey, look at that. Look at that. That's amazing, isn't it? <laughs> Are you okay? We're not gonna hurt you. Inigo. He was a prisoner, Inigo committed a war crime. We never listen to Meridia because nobody listens to Meridia. You want a Dawnbreaker? Uh, Inigo? Because if you want a Dawnbreaker, we can get you a Dawnbreaker. We should probably return this to home, though. Uh, we actually skipped Meridia Shrine for some reason, even though we went up that road. I don't know how. <sighs> so we're not here for the Dragonborn Gallery. We're here for King Olaf's first. Honor and tradition is quaint, but politically irrelevant. Well said, Erica. I say our character is morally gray. Uh, like I imagine 99% of uh, Skyrim characters are. King Olaf's first. Yeah, I noticed that when I picked it up. Just make up the missing parts. to their knees. Hmm. He sat and didn't use magic to blame solitude. <laughs> Nah, disguise troops. So you can come up with a very funny story, and uh, we're just not gonna bother. Let's go. Got a meeting at the Blue Palace in a go. We're big shots now.
actually been to the Blue Palace before. Honestly, the most impressive building in the city is the Dragonborn Gallery. But to be fair, if we install a mod and it's not impressive, what was the point, really, you know? What was the point? <sighs> we'll wait. Tending the flame. Oh, we gotta meet him down there. Are we ready? I gave you two hours of prep time. That should be more than enough. made it up these stairs three times in the amount of time it took you. You should really work on your cardio, friend. Best seat in the house, I guess. I don't want to. I would like to get out of your chair. to die in a better place, Alduin would have resurrected him. We don't know that yet, but we do. Oh, fell over the edge. Her eyes seem like a vampire's eyes. I'm not saying anything, but um... Just don't look human, you know? This man, he has human eyes. He also has a face that needs to be washed. Human eyes. Black eyes of the devil. Human eyes. Vampire eyes. I guess you're also human. Up one eye was king of Whiterun, and every year, or every so often, uh, Solitude holds a vigil to burn a former king of Whiterun. Yeah, that's got to be good for relations between the two. Yet still, Jarl Palgrief chooses to side with the Empire over. Uh, well rewarded. Even though I sat in your chair. I know. I know. And I guess we get our reward at the festival. Go. Look at that pretty sword on your back. Absolute legend. I'm gonna make Inigo into the Dragonborn. Yo, Jorn, we having a festival.
Jorn. This Jorn is quite elusive. Oh, he's in the basement, that's why. So, talk to you in like seven hours. I will wait right here until then. I am, I am baited. Burn King Olaf. I feel like I already killed him, but we'll figure out the rest as we go. Priests for the Eight Divine. Why are you bragging up a Daedra? The Priest of the Divines in Solitude is a Daedra worshipper. I should have thought coming, honestly. Thank you for the claps, Daedra Worshipper. Don't know who you are. So I'm a bard, and congratulations, you're a full-fledged member of the Bard's College. A weekly event. Wow. Gift of Gab? What? <laughs> cool. I didn't know that was a thing. I don't think that is a thing in a uh, base game, but... Thing now. Thank you. I'll also take some of this spice wine. Was very productive. But we gotta turn in for the day. And then we'll move on to our next plan to make the museum very, very wealthy. Ooh, commemorative plaque in honor of Megami, 
a generous financial contributor to the museum. Good on you, Megan. Here we go. Enchanted ring put back where it belongs. So we could look into this whole uh, Goldier amulet thing going on. That would get us a couple more. Uh, well, I'd actually just like to open up this thing, but I guess I'm not allowed to. How do I get my hands on the jagged crown? question. Uh, so I want to put the ring of surroundings in here. Uh, also this amulet of Talos. And this ring of surroundings. Oh, it's updating. Oh, it's updating. Let's just look at that thing update. It's actually really impressive. Talos. Yeah, so we got the ring of surroundings right there. And we got the Dinstagmaras ring. Archmage's robes. Wow. So I think we're going to head back to Whiterun. We've buffed up enough. We can take on some companion quests. You talking to me, Indigo? We're here for nerdy things, Inigo. I'm not going to get your hopes up. Listen, we're here to to satisfyingly fill out a container. That's what we're here for. It sounds... Why? Oh. Oh, that's why. You want to go, Mr. Dragon? I know, Inigo. Me and you can fight it. We'll kill it dead. Any dragon that attacks my home will be destroyed. And that's what I said. Darn thing we just won't listen. This is a bad omen for the festival. So it should be coming down here. When you get the dragon to half health, it's forced to land. Dragon breath. 20 points for one second. Okay. That may be lethal. So we should probably work on making sure that is Impressive how much uh, well, you got it in a go. Good for you. Uh, we should actually sell off this stuff before we leave. Well, we can do it in a uh, white run. We might want to congregate our supply of bones in one place. There you are. Um, actually, I'd like you to take a look at what I have. I have this elven shield. Imminent. Uh, oh god, that's a valuable. I guess I need to go talk to Bellathor. He's the only one with sense around here.
I mean, I show up offering dragon bones, and people are like, no, no, I don't buy those. They are literally something that cannot be found elsewhere. Uh, dragon bone. And you'll take this fly like garnet. A keystone. And this garnet, and this garnet. Good work, Bellathor. I'm always happy to see you too. We might actually have to start going into uh, going into speech just to make things a little more even. We've actually got 40 unlocked for conjuration. Some endanger and other minions last three times as long. Five times at night. Okay. I like that. Reanimated minions receive a burst of strength, dealing 200% extra damage for 15 seconds after being reanimated. Uh, the level cap for reanimation spells increased by 1% of conjuration level. Hmm, so that actually could be pretty good. pop over to destruction. I still don't know where I want to go with destruction. That's the only issue. Elemental spells and effects cost 30% less in favorable weather. Five spells and sunset, frost and snowfall, and shock and rain. Okay. That's a little situational buff. I can live with that. So we're here to talk to the leader of the companion. Not necessarily the leader, but the leaders. Oh, there was Armon. <sighs> I was wondering who the armed person approaching Orvasker was. I get a little skittish when that happens because they're, they're dangerous people in the world, you know? Dangerous. Good for work. I don't really want to talk to Skior. I'm looking for work. lose our skill buff and pick up a horrible disease but we do have to get the disease out of the way you coming skill seems to be heavy. Because a lot of the protective plates are just kind of hanging off the side. I feel like that would be a bit uncomfortable. Although to be fair, it's breathier than most other armors. I know. I'm right here. This is the Underforge. This is tonight. You may be the one who's confused, actually. In a go, I become a werewolf. Don't kill me, okay? I am ready. It's a gift. And if I refuse your gift, sir? So we are at a minute. The, uh, at an hour, so I'm gonna save here. And we will end off part 7 here. Next time around, we'll join the companions. Uh, and we'll do... Well, we'll join the companions in being werewolves, basically. We'll join the circle, too. As a full-fledged member. But either way, bye. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, leave a like, subscribe. You know the deal. See you next time.